What's going on? My name is Ben, I'm Tim from Skin Dread. You watch Ramzine. Fucking Ramzine's the best. Nonetheless, I'll see you later when I'm not so drunk. Natalie here with Ramsey, and I'm with the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend that is Benji from Skindred. How's it going? I'm all in the right direction, Natalie. Thank you very much. It's going great, yeah. So, I mean, you're playing this evening. Are yeah. you excited about your performance? You know what? It's a dream come true. To play this festival is a dream come true for, for Skin Dread, for sure. Oh, everyone's so excited. Apps that, like, pretty much everyone I've spoken to they have said they're going to be in the Skin Dread pit I'm tonight. I'm so looking forward to playing some songs. Really I think right. I've said it myself that mm -hmm. I will be in the pit myself in my dress. Good. If you put Ninja make, on. Just, ninja. just make sure you bring your helicopter t shirt, all right? Yeah, Find my something. my husband loves you guys. Yeah? He'll be listening to you constantly bring in the shirt, car. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be like Whitney T-shirt, yeah, yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So, what have you guys been up to? I mean, you released your album volume last yeah, year. We did, yeah, we um we've been busy. Um, we've been touring a lot. We went to Japan. Went yeah. to America. Um, we're focusing on writing some new songs as well because uh, in this day and age, you can. You can't sit no, on your no, you can. You. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back in the studio real soon. Yeah. Write some new stuff, you know, and maybe do a, what, what, what I like to call the greatest misses, <laughs> not the greatest hits, <laughs> the greatest misses, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you recently did your tour with the chemist as well, supposedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you played my hometown of Bournemouth, which I didn't make. But Dude, don't you missed the show. I know, but it's last week. You really did. It was a Sunday night. You missed the big show. I know. I got told it was amazing, but how did you? How did you? There's Tosh over there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna look. He keeps saying I want to come and cup his buttocks. So I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, right. So, how did you find the Bournemouth crowd? Were they good? Do you know they were really good? What, what, some people just show us so much love. Mm. And the energy was fantastic, and I talk shit on stage. You've, and they, you've got a lot of love in Bournemouth. You know, even when I DJ, when I DJ at, um, at the, the, the um, something circus. Oh, sound circus. Yeah, when I DJ there, I I'll always always enjoy it. It's really good, it's mm. really good atmosphere. Um, I wanted to ask you as well. How are you? Because you were attacked yeah, by that I, I was, I was attacked. And they tried to cut my neck open. It was two girls. They think they. I think girls. They were, yeah, two ladies. They wanted to split me in half. I think to take me home, but I can't be in two places at once, ladies. Oh I'm sorry. Oh my god, ladies. Yeah, yeah, they did. They were fight. They were. They were arguing. I walked past. I said, "Calm down, ladies. Be cool." Because I'm a peacemaker. And Love and not fire. Yeah. Then, they, then they turned on me and. <laughs> oh my god. Freaked out. So in future, you'll never get involved in a catfight you know, ever again. I, I um, it's funny because after that, I find myself being more reluctant to, to stop mm. things you know which is sad you know yeah but it uh, but uh, it, the fear still stays with me because yeah. you never know you yeah never know, yeah yeah you know? people are unpredictable aren't they that's, right, they are. that's why apart and from MCAT you is a hell of a drug <laughs> you know yeah and i think that they were um they were partic participating but, in some do you know if it, if it, uh, because of exactly that reason people being sort of unpredictable mm -hmm. i used to love my pitch years ago but seeing all this new new age thrashy stuff yeah, it yeah. put me off and i was really what terrified do you mean, like? what do you mean you know when people like swing their fists around and kick their legs oh, yeah, out yeah, and forget piss that, forget that. so it, it actually as a female well, i'll gonna, be honest gonna, it, it you, kind of frightens yeah, me a little you don't bit get hurt, do you? no you don't go out to get hurt but, I mean, you know, you guys, I am, like, all your pits are lovely, apparently. Well, we are, I always, so, I always um, tell people when they, when they, when they watch Skin Dread to, to take care of one another. Yeah. You know, if people are acting too crazy, I say, you know, cut the shit. Yeah. You know, I'm, not, I'm bold enough to say, stop, you know, we less bounce instead of beating each other up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's important. Well, I will be And do you know one thing picky. about, I like the ladies dancing. Mm. You know, and that's why the music that we make is the, the way it sounds. It's you so f you couldn't even pigeonhole you guys if you tried. Well, I, you have so many different elements, which makes you so unique. I think music is not supposed to be able to pigeonhole. It's not supposed to be something that you can say, this is this or there's no book of rules when it comes to music. I think the more bands made up what they wanted to do, the better it will be. Yeah, and you are a prime example of like, fuck it, today we want to do something with a bit exactly, of a reggae yeah, yeah, flow exactly, to it. Yeah, yeah. And it works so well, you know? Yeah, I mean, if we get, we've been getting away with it for years and I think we got a few more years in this left. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. So, on a completely non-serious topic, I've been asking everyone, I've had some real bangers come out. Okay. Uh, tour stories and behind the scenes moments. If you had to pick a funny or embarrassing moment that is forever etched in your soul, yeah. what would it be? I used, to, I used to wind up an air raid siren. Yeah. A World War II air raid siren. I used to go on stage. Ooh, yeah, one of them. Wonder. Now, let me tell you something about them things, right? Once you wind them up, they don't stop. <laughs> now, I've, I am not the most beautiful 
figured guy, right? <laughs> so one day I'm in Stoke the Wheat Chiff, and I walk on stage with this air raid siren and I wind it up. And it caught my t-shirt and it ripped my fucking oh, no. t-shirt on my back. <laughs> and I'm stood in front of like a hundred people with no top on. Going, ooh. And, and this thing, I just see my t-shirt going round and around and around. <laughs> I think that was one of my most embarrassing moments ever. Oh wow, that's incredible. And I, you know, like like letting said, everyone know that you're top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm is this I'm, why you've, you've now maybe, inserted the helicopter yeah, so maybe, everyone has to do the same thing? Psychologically, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has to yeah, do exactly yeah, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but that was the most, that was the most <laughs> weirdest thing I ever happened on stage. Oh well, yeah. I'm really excited to see you guys, and I hope Natalie, you, you're the girl, man. Let's I do hope this. you have a fantastic yeah, performance. Yeah, well, I hope you're there to see it. I will be. Promise. Yeah, getting that pit right. job done. Yeah. I'll force you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no forcing. Uh, thank no you forcing. so much. It's a freedom. <laughs> Thanks very much.